Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about integrating instant messenger, social networking and email. Now as you can see I've got an icon on my desktop with the name of Digsby. This is a free download, um, I'll provide the link to it in the description to the right of the video. And it basically does the three things I've just mentioned. Previously I have been using a client called Pigeon. It's a multi-platform, multi-protocol, instant messaging client. Now if you don't know what that means, it basically means you can talk to your friends on MySpace, um, MSN chat, Ma um, Yahoo chat, um, loads of different protocols and it does it all in that one application. Now Digsby uses the same sort of thing and it looks like a an instant messaging client that adds the social element as well. So um, don't take my word for it, I'll give you a quick tour of the program. Now the first thing to note is that it um, actually you have to sign up to the Digsby website uh, to use the client. Um, that's where all your information is stored. So if you were to download D Digsby on another computer, it will store all your information uh, so you don't have to type them all in again every computer you go to. Um, so that's really handy um, to have. So let's start the Digsby client. Now you should be able to see a familiar uh, instant messaging interface. So we've got a nice box here, nice little logo. Now it's auto logged in and I've uh, filled in quite a few of my details already to save time. And you see already we have some alerts and some emails and a MySpace error. So this is to the left, this uh, by default is here. And uh, the reason I've got the MySpace error is because I forgot my password. Um, so I've just come up with that. Um, I'll try and get my password back soon. So if we go back to the uh, the actual box on the right hand side, um, I'm in my test account with Windows Live Messenger, so um, you, all you can see here is Smarter Child. I can just double click him and show you this is the chat box. And um, something I noticed that here we have a start and audio video chat. Now Pigeon doesn't support uh, webcam chats. I'm not sure if this actually will and what protocols it follows. Uh, the other person might have to have this Digsby application, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, there's a bunch of things that you can do, send files, emails, texts, and you can also customise the actual conversation box, which is quite nice. So I'll be showing you that in a second, but for the time being let's go over to this, uh, the bottom area of this contacts box. You can see that I've got email here. This is done through IMAP, so you can see I've got three emails, uh, three new emails since I last checked it. It's got my Hotmail account, which there's no previews for, but I can click that and it will go to my inbox. Um, Fastma uh, sorry, Fastma Facebook, um, it's got all the status updates and uh, profile updates from various people in my, um, in my list. And it has my alerts here, so I've got a message, a poke and some group invites. And uh, it shows my status, which I can actually edit from the client and a bunch of links at the top. Uh, Twitter. It's got the. I've only following about seven or so people on uh, Twitter, so you can only, you can see that there's not many people that have updated their profiles. Um, I haven't really used it. Um, I use uh, Ping.fm to go through all my social sites, but it's good to have anyway. Um, I do post to it, and there's quite a few services that um, I'd like to talk about, which I will do um, in the very near future uh, to do with Twitter, which I really like. So that is the uh, Twitter area and obviously my space with the error so I'm not sure what goes here. I have to find out once I've um, got my password. So um, if I was to close this uh, buddy list, you can see at the bottom it's got all the things I shoot you and it's got them as small icons and there's little counters which is handy because if you were to, I don't know, receive an alert but you didn't see it or something like that you can look down here and it will have a counter next to the various services. You can actually customise these so you can take them off, but I'll show you that as we go through the options. Because that's one great feature about this is that it's quite customisable. So let's go to the options. Um, actually no, let's, let's just talk to this dude so you can see how it works. It just says Duncan, hello, and then Smart Child just says something. Um, you also have avatars. Um, but as this hasn't got the uh, skin in the conversation box, you can't see them. But I'll show you that in a second. So let's go into the uh, options. Uh, so it's tools preferences, and you can see it's in my um, 
this is my Windows Live Messenger account, uh, my test account anyway, and uh, you can see that I can just add one, and then you can see you've got AIM, MSN, Yahoo, Google Talk, ICQ, Jabba, and Facebook chat. Um, we've got emails here, so it supports Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Pop, Email, IMAP. IMAP is what I've set up my Google Mail with. I'm not sure if that access is Pop3, but I didn't want to risk it, so I just went straight to, um, to um, IMAP. And um, I've also got it doing my Hotmail, and it also does AOL. And the social networks, it does Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter, which is all the ones that I've put down. Now, you see over here we've got um, where to show, show, show and contact this, show icon and tray, show both. So, you see where I have these at the bottom here and down here. You can have it so it just shows one or both or none. Um, sorry, sorry, you've got a choice of in the contact list, on the taskbar or both. So, that's pretty cool. Um, just going to the general. Um, I just set my buddy icon as my wallpaper randomly. I don't know why. Um, and there's a couple of other options here. But the skins is pretty good. Uh, you get a choice of either a white one, uh, which is the Quicksilver, which is my one I have now, and uh, the other one is the Darkness. But I'm not a big fan of this, I must say. You can see that it's, uh, it's dark here. Now you can get variations of it. Here we have variant, and then it's green. You can see that it's changed green. It's also changed the contact box green or red. So yeah, let's change that. Um, also, with the conversation theme, so if I keep it, I'll have it as Quicksilver because I like it like that. Um, the conversation theme, we've got a nice preview box here, so you can basically just choose them. Now, if I just click like that and press the down arrow so you can see the various conversation boxes. Uh, I'll try that again, shall we? Oh, yeah, we'll go up. There we go. So these are the various conversation skins that you can have. As you can see, we've got these are the, the things that it shows is their icon will be replaced by your avatar so it's pretty good it's got quite a few nice things and again you have the um, variants here so you can um, sort it out even more customize it even more um, metal chat gone dark so it's pretty cool I like it um, body list you can customize so you can see I've got my avatar and my name here um, I can actually have it just so it shows the name and obviously the status, um, the uh, actual protocol that I'm connected to um, and various other things here. Um, you can sort them, uh, show in the taskbar. These are sort of the standard things you get on most conversation clients. File transfers, where you're going to put them, status, um, going idle, disable pop-ups, sounds, privacy, notifications and widgets. Widgets, I'm not sure if this is a web widget because um, you go to new widget, file transfers, where you're going to put them, status, um, going idle, disable pop-ups, sounds, privacy, notifications, and widgets. Widgets, I'm not sure if this is a web widget, because um, you go to new widget, it takes me to a Firefox page to make a Digsby widget. Now I'm not sure if this just shows you the status, disable pop-ups, sounds, privacy, notifications, and widgets. Widgets, I'm not sure if this is a web widget, because um, you go to new widget, it takes me to a Firefox page to make a Digsby widget. Now I'm not sure if this just shows you the status, it looks to do that, widget title, your nickname, yeah, it just shows you the status of um, you, basically, on, you can put it on forums or on your MySpace or on your Facebook or anything like that because with the Facebook it actually asked me to add it as an application so that's one thing to be aware of as well so um, that's a very quick overview um, Fox page to make a Digsby widget now I'm not sure if this just shows you the status it looks to do that widget title your nickname yeah it just shows you the status of um, you basically on you can put it on forums or on your MySpace or on your Facebook or anything like that because with the Facebook it actually asked me to add it as an application so that's one thing to be aware of as well so um, that's a very quick overview um, mm. as you can see in the conversation box with this webcam I'm not sure if it does connect to the uh, various mm. clients but let me know if it does work of um, you basically on you can put it on forums or on your MySpace or on your Facebook or anything like that 
because with the Facebook it actually asked me to add it as an application so that's one thing to be aware of as well so um, that's a very quick overview um, as you can see in the conversation box with this webcam I'm not sure if it does connect to the uh, various clients but let me know if it does work for you so um, thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos let me know what you think of this client um, that's a very quick overview um, as you can see in the conversation box with this webcam I'm not sure if it does connect to the uh, various clients but let me know if it does work for you so um, thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos let me know what you think of this client um, the download links in the description so uh, thanks again